Mohawk Reservation right outside Montreal called Ganawage. It's located about eight miles from downtown Montreal on the south shore of the St. Lawrence River. It's, uh, it's a pretty unique place. Uh, everyone knows each other there. There's tremendous support from, uh, from the whole community for, um, for whether you want to play sports or pursue uh, academics or whatever you want to do. There's tremendous support from everyone there. This is a tough one. There's not really one answer to this. Um, I'm going to have to go with pretty much my whole family. I mean, uh, right from as long as I can remember, um, everyone used to bring me to hockey games. It wasn't just one person and, um, and really supported me through, through my whole journey. And uh, I'm grateful for that. So I would have to say my entire family. Well, most recently, this is easy, going to the Frozen Four in Washington, D.C. That was just an um, incredible experience. There's, there's nothing really that can describe that. I mean, the guys that went there, we'll all remember that, and we'll remember each other, that team, for the rest of our life. So um, that was definitely the most recent memory. But uh, I'd say back, back in youth hockey, it was probably uh, a novice tournament that my team won, the Gunnawaga Mohawks. We won um, this tournament in... Uh, Bahorn Walk back and I remember we would uh, we got back to our hometown and everyone jumped in to the back of our coach's truck and we paraded around uh, around town and that was definitely uh, a great memory. Well, I think we have a good mix of coaches. Everyone's a little different. Um, I think what's best about them is they all know their players very well. They know. Uh, they know how to deal with each of us and uh, what buttons to press and when they can do it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's a good mix of those and uh, of those assets. And Coach Snedden, I would have to say, passionate. He's very passionate about everything he does. He, uh, whether it's his family life, his you know, to us, is very passionate with his players, and everything he does is you know, he's very passionate about it and the whole program in a whole. I think first off, I'm a good two-way player. I, uh, I like to take care of the defensive zone as well as put up some numbers in the offensive zone. Um, when I'm at my top, I, I'm, I'm competing, I'm hitting, I'm, I'm skating, moving my feet, I'm shooting the puck, and, and really just uh, trying to lead by example every time I'm out there. Well, we just got to stick to our identity. It's, um, it's the blue-collar type style. We got to come to work and not take a shift off. We um, Obviously we have to start scoring a little more. The upperclassmen here, um, we, have to, we have to grab the reins and really, and really pull the young guys along with us. And um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a long journey this year. We're ready for it and we, we realize that we're going through a little adversity early, but um, the character in that dress room is gonna pull us a long way. Mark gets it back though. They don't stop they play. Burroughs centers in front. Stacy. Stacy! I think I have two answers for this one. It was actually a road trip in one weekend. I went to, uh, when I was in SJHL, it was Laurent, Saskatchewan, and Flint Flon, Saskatchewan. Those were pretty. Pretty interesting places way up in the boonies. I'm a country guy. I came from uh, prep school in Saskatchewan, Notre Dame, and that's where I picked up country. And ever since then, um, I've been kind of a country kid. Um, as for my artists, I would have to go with Keith Urban and George Strait. Yeah, I mean, I want to play hockey as long as I can. I hope to have a, a good year and get some looks by some teams, and and really uh, any opportunity I've given, I'm gonna I'm gonna work to my best and and try to and try to make the best of of what I can with that opportunity I'm given. So, yeah, I would like to play professional hockey for as long as I can, and then after that, fall back on on my degree from here at University of Mont. It's um, it's a fabulous fabulous degree to have, and. Um, I'm ready to pursue uh, entrepreneurship uh, 
after my hockey career.